all familiar with unicorns, right? The ridiculously overpowered race within the world of MLP, capable of doing everything the Pegasi and Earth ponies can do, and more. Up to and including move the freaking sun. And in some cases, even wielding enough power to be on the same level as alicorns. Obviously, unicorns are by far the most powerful of the three ponies. <laughs> Absolutely not. Unicorns aren't nearly as strong as everyone assumes they are. Let me explain. Everyone assumes that the unicorns are super powerful due to characters such as Twilight, Starlight, and Star Swirl accomplishing massive feats of magic. But there is one key area that people tend to forget when talking about how powerful unicorns are. These three ponies' ridiculously powerful magic is the exception, not the rule. For every single one of these characters, magic is their special talent. Not every unicorn is able to just teleport all over the place or levitate an Ursa Minor. This point was actually brought up very early in an episode from Season 1, Ghostbusters. In this episode, Spike asks Twilight, I thought unicorns were only supposed to have a little magic that matches their special talent. And Twilight responds, True, for ponies whose special talents are for things like cooking or singing or math. But what if a unicorn's special talent is magic? This pretty explicitly tells us that unicorns cannot, in fact, cast many spells. Like Spike said, unicorns are only supposed to have a little magic. A little bit. A teeny tiny amount. Now, with that knowledge in mind, with that little nugget of information in your brain, watch this. Pump, hear my voice and listen. This is not a little bit. This is a big bit. There is nothing little about banishing the Lord of Chaos in a giant laser beam. Is it possible for a unicorn to cast more powerful spells without it being their special talent? I would say yes, as it seems to be a matter of one, working at it like a muscle, and two, studying it like a science. So as long as a unicorn is able to do those two things, that unicorn will be stronger at magic than most. I would still say though that this places the unicorn's power ever so slightly above Earth ponies but really not by that much. It's debatable as to how much magic Earth ponies actually have and whether or not that is tied to their strength, but I am fairly certain that it is heavily implied when T-Rex drains Earth ponies of their strength that they have extra, well, strength. Unicorns when compared to Pegasi, however? There's no comparison! While a well-trained wizard may be more powerful than your average Pegasus, your standard unicorn, I'd argue, has less magical capability than a Pegasus child. The reason I say this is because unicorns have to spend ages training and studying in order to cast spells, while Pegasi don't need to do any level of training whatsoever in terms of their basic abilities, such as walking on clouds. Let me just paint a picture for you real quick as to how easy it is for a Pegasus to use their magic. They are just walking on clouds subconsciously. Rainbow Dash is even able to take a nap on them. And given how practically every Pegasus is able to help in wrapping up winter by manipulating the weather, and how there are so many who work in the weather factory, it seems as though controlling the weather is not something that requires much, if any, training. The only thing that I can think that would possibly require training is something like creating a tornado. But even that, so long as you get enough Pegasi, or even two Pegasi that can travel at ridiculous speeds, they have the power to create a tornado just by flying in circles. The only training required here is building up wing power. Pegasi magic is not that hard, and yet, it is extremely powerful. Is it a practical ability for everyday life like unicorn magic? Well, they can fly, so I would say to a point, yes. Other than that, no, absolutely not. But if we are talking about just pure, raw power, unicorns are not nearly as overpowered as you might initially think. If anything, it's the Pegasi who are overpowered with all of their crazy weather magic. But their raw power actually goes beyond weather, especially when you consider Cloudsdale. More specifically, just how ridiculous ridiculously powerful Cloudsdale would be as a weapon. No joke, if the Pegasi wanted to, they could conquer all of Equestria with this thing. So if you're interested in knowing more about how that would work, I have a video going into far more detail on this topic. Click here to check it out.
And I want to give a huge thank you to all of the artists who took their time and energy to make this wonderful artwork of my OC. I honestly don't know what to say other than thank you. The fact that anybody would want to take the time to draw my OC is incredibly touching and I am incredibly grateful for every single one of them. Links to the artists will be in the description for anyone who wants to check them out.